<laughs> Don't be too scared. It's just a ball cap, guys. But I, I look a little creepy with this ball cap on. I'm not going to lie. This is my second Halloween look of the year. And I just want to show you what I did off camera. Since I was going to be using liquid latex, I made sure to put glue over my eyebrows. If you don't put glue over your eyebrows and use liquid latex on your eyebrows, you will no longer have eyebrows. So make sure you put some glue on your eyebrows. And then I just line my eyes really fast. Nothing uh, precise here. Just put some liner on just so that it that if something was to show um, through the cotton I use later, then it would be black. And then, of course, I put the ball cap on with some spirit gum cut it out where I needed it to uh, be cut around the ears and whatnot. And I did have my, my husband help me with that. And make sure you have spirit gum remover. If you have spirit gum, you need to have spirit gum remover. If you don't have spirit gum, you can also use Prose-Aid. And I would recommend getting the Prose-Aid remover as well. Once my ball cap was glued down, I did take the liquid latex around the outer perimeter of the bald cap, I do recommend doing a skin test with liquid latex to make sure you're not allergic and leave it on for about 24 hours. That's the recommendation because you can have a late allergic reaction. Actually, you should take the time to do a skin test on anything you're gonna be using on your skin, regardless if it's liquid latex, Prose-Aid, Spirit Gum. Take the time to do the skin test. And of course, I just had to let you know, once again, I am not naked. Now here I did paint some cotton pads and then as you see what I did there, I kind of folded it twice and then cut it right in the middle. And that lets me see with this look. Now I'm just taking this cotton pad and kind of seeing if I needed it to be cut. Even though I do have glue around, or not around, actually on my eyebrows, I'm still not crazy about putting spirit gum or liquid latex, just gobs and gobs of it on my eyebrows. So I am gonna cut this down so I can use the spirit gum underneath of my eyebrow to glue this cotton pad on. And just a fun fact, just to let you know, spirit gum is flammable. Just letting you know that. I just, you know, I didn't wanna say that I didn't say that or anybody to come for me and say I didn't say that, so I'm just letting you know. By the way, spirit gum is flammable. Also, if you tap the spirit gum, once you put it on, it will make it get more tacky and stay on for a longer period of time. I did not do that. I was just kind of like all over the place when it came to this look. So make sure once you put spirit gum on, then tap it until it gets really, really tacky and then glue on whatever you're wanting to glue on. Now I'm just taking some liquid latex just around the perimeter of the cotton pad just for more security and to make sure everything is seamless. When using liquid latex or spirit gum or anything around your eye, obviously be very, very careful and take your time. I'm just taking regular cotton balls and just attaching it above and below and kind of giving this a stringy effect just like you all you really want to do is just keep pulling it apart making some places thicker thinner however you want but i think the most important thing here is just to make sure you can still see it through the cotton so you can manipulate this cotton any way shape or form that you want i wanted it wanted it to be stringy and kind of look a little bit gross and once you get your cotton to how you want then you're just gonna place that liquid latex right over it. Be very, very careful if you are gonna place it right there in the middle where your eye is. I wouldn't recommend putting too much there just for safety reasons, so just be very careful. And then just repeat the process to make this as thick or as thin as you want. I'm using a blow dryer on a cool setting. I didn't want to use heat. That's just my personal preference. I used it on a cool setting. 
and it's a low setting because um, I didn't want cotton actually blowing it to my eyeball to let that liquid latex dry faster. That's kind of what I was showing you in the beginning too. I used a, a blow dryer when I did dry my liquid latex that was around my ball cap perimeter. And then here I'm kind of doing the same idea just around my mouth and gonna just do the same steps. Put the liquid latex down, put the cotton on, let it dry, put the liquid latex down, put the cotton, then put the cotton on it, then let it dry. I can't even talk. It's just the same process. Just do the same process and make it look gross. During this process, I did make sure to keep opening and closing my mouth while that liquid latex was drying because I wanted to be able to talk with this look. So if you obviously want to talk or be able to kind of put a straw through if you want to do a drink, I don't know if you'd necessarily be able to eat with this look, but just make sure you open and close your mouth so that you'd be able to talk. I went to my local Halloween stores and Party City to look for horns, but they did not have anything I liked and anything that I did like was going to be too heavy to put on my head. So I ordered these off of Amazon. I will link uh, the exact ones down below. I did paint these the night before. They take paint very well. So depending on what kind of character, what you want to be, you can paint these horns any color you want. I was not planning on using this bald cap for any other look, so I went ahead and took some super glue and super glued these onto the bald cap. It did come with a headband, like a little plastic headband attached to it. You can use that as well. I just chose to cut that off and just glue it directly to the bald cap. And then I took, well, the hubs, took liquid latex for extra security and put it all around these little horns and then we just kind of did the same process with um that we did with the eyes and the mouth did the liquid latex with the cotton with the liquid latex with the cotton you know the drill by now just for extra security and i could move around i could bob my head these horns were not going anywhere I'm going to use the May Ron Paradise uh, water activated body paint for this look and just paint myself all over. What I liked about this inspo picture is that it was a painting. So throughout the process of me painting myself, I had a different vision. I'm like, okay, that's the inspo picture. Cool, whatever. But then the more I started to get into the look and the more I painted myself, I'm like, why not make myself look like a painting? I'm going to look like a painting just like, it, you know, just like the inspect picture was a painting. So you'll see through the process of uh, toward the end of the look, especially on my chest where I tried to make it just look like a lot of brush of brush strokes. Can't talk again, but you'll see. So I started with black. And then I wanted to lighten myself up a little bit to match the horns. And now I'm going back in with the black around the mouth. I do go in, as you can see with my eyes and the cotton, um, it the white is showing. So I am very, very careful when I do this. And I, I think I go back to the eyes two or three times. So I put some more black on, let it dry, and then do something else. And then go back in with some more black and let it dry. Um, so, I mean, it's just a process, it, but what's also really cool about this look is, again, I like Halloween looks that you do not have to be perfect. You do not have to be precise, especially when it's your own, somewhat of your own character. You can kind of make them what you want. And with this look, it reminded me of a, a girl or a woman that got taken over by some kind of virus or disease that was coming out of her mouth and her eyes and taking over her. She grew horns. I don't know. I might be really, really out there with saying that, but I think there was a story when I looked at the picture and that's kind of what I was basing it off of. So as you can see here, I'm taking that black and kind of making that virus, if you will, it's coming out of her eyes. I'll do the same with the mouth. But again, you can kind of do what you want with this look, which is what I think is so fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just taking a textured sponge. I got this at Spirit Halloween and just dipping it right into the black and stippling this all over my face just to give it a really cool effect, give it some te um, texture. And I thought it, it was just becoming too dark. And so I went in with the white and this is when I thought, oh, this is really cool. This kind of gives it that painting effect in a way. So that's then kind of where I went with the look and thought this would be really cool since I am kind of basing this look off of a painting that I kind of look like a painting as well. So that's why I did that. Then, like I said earlier, it's just kind of going back and filling in the mouth again and filling in the eyes again to make them darker. And since I went in with that black stippling paint and white, it did cover up those lines, like I said, that kind of remind me of the virus or disease coming out of the eyes. So I'm just adding them again. And then I had my husband come back in and paint all the parts of me that I couldn't see, like the top of my head, the back of my head, the back of my shoulders or whatnot. So this is the final look and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.